everybody, welcome back to Clever Style. I am the luckiest girl in the world today. I'm Come your, on now. or I mean, <laughs> I mean, just can't even begin to describe being here with Orly Shaney from Fashion Star. I mean, such a pleasure to have you. Thanks so much. This is great. This is so much fun. I mean, you have so much going on. I feel like it's been ages since I've seen Orly, and like, just everything is just the ball's yeah. just rolling for you. That's so exciting. It is. It is. I mean, it takes. It's amazing how much work it takes. Like, I feel, you know, when I had first. When I first came off of the show, you know, you have this like idea. I'm like, oh well, so everything's basically set now. Like I'm bound to be like a superstar. Things are gonna be, and you just think that everything's gonna roll, and it really takes a tremendous amount of work to keep it alive. So it's a, I mean, I love every second, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's nutty. It's Your busy. work's paying off. But let's let's backtrack a little bit into Fashion Star. What was yeah. it like being on that show? It was so much fun. I mean, I, I sometimes wish that I could like have had the experience and have some perspective on it and go back and do it again just to actually enjoy it. Cause you're so stressed and you don't really know what's going on. And it was the first season. So, I mean, we didn't even know how the show was gonna progress day one. We didn't know what the challenges would be like. We didn't know anything really, you know, there was no frame of reference. So, yeah. um, so it was, it was a, such a blast, but it was stressful and, you know, nerve wracking. You didn't know if you were gonna make a fool of yourself. You didn't know if anyone was gonna like you, if anyone was gonna like your, your taste, your personality, like anything. It's so it was so nerve wracking. It was. It was really scary. But I mean, I met like I've been. I've really stayed close with so many people on the show. So even that in itself is is incredible. That's cool. Would you ever do like collabs with some of the people on the show? Oh yeah, Zamira <laughs> and I always talk about we want to do. So his his menswear line is called Jack St. Joy, and my line's called Tuck and West. And we always talk that we want to do like Jaggy West and make like a little <laughs> a women's wear line inspired from his men's clothes. What is, what's the biggest thing that you think you learned? as far as designing goes from Fashion Star? I think that the biggest lesson I learned on the show as a whole is probably trying to be consistent with your, your brand image. And keeping in mind, because my style and my personal taste is so kind of all over the place, I feel like I, I talk about this a lot on the show, but I look like a different person on any given day, just depending on like what your mood, mood I'm in. Yeah, yeah, exactly, as so many women do. But when you're designing a brand, you kind of have to put blinders on a little bit and be really focused on what that message is so that girls know when to come to you. Well, speaking right. of designing, how did you get in? I mean, how'd you get into it? In a, in a fairly unorthodox way, my it's been in my family. So my grandfather on my mom's side had a cutting a cutting factory here in downtown LA. Oh, cool. And my mom worked in the factory, and that was you know that was his business. And my grandmother is an incredible painter, and um, also makes costumes for the McCollum Theater in Palm Springs. And she taught my mom how to sew, and my mom taught me how to sew. And I used to just um, reconstruct vintage. It was like my first That's line. That's so cool. Yeah, and so I never went to school, and I never. Um, really studied at all aside from taking sewing classes and then just doing it just trial and error just, just doing it over and over again yeah you know well you didn't need school I mean Tuck and Wes yeah. is amazing I've been Thank on the you. site all morning yes <laughs> talk about the best. <laughs> talk about retail therapy I was like um I want that and that and that I mean everything's amazing thank you so tell us about the line for those who don't know anything about Tuck and Wes and your line like tell us about it yeah well my biggest concern and goal when I design or when I build a brand is to really make things affordable and like accessible and versatile that's the way that I dress it's my style it's what's important to me and it doesn't feel particularly organic for me to design something that's couture or high-end or something that no one can afford because if I can't afford it like it's I can't stand behind it we started off with knits which were the broke city knits which is like what I'm wearing now and they're just a really cozy simple knits that have a little bit of a sense of humor about <laughs> being broke <laughs> tell um, us about that before you keep going yeah so because I on love the this. show <laughs> it's really fun yeah it's really fun on the show on fashion star I talk about the reason why I try to make convertible clothing is because I'm broke and if I'm gonna buy some really great staple piece I want to get like the most out of it I really want it to yeah. do double duty so that that phrase that you know sort of moment on the show really caught on with you know, everyone on Twitter and everyone on social media and it became this whole sort of movement. So we started calling it Broke City and I live in Broke City and everyone's like, we're all neighbors in Broke City. And it became this like whole <laughs> thing, which was really, really fun and a really great way to connect to girls all over now, all over the world that are watching the show and that are love fashion and can't afford, you know, what they want. So yeah. we made uh, these shirts as kind of like a badge of honor, <laughs> like fashionistas that are broke, like stand proud. So yes, yeah, so we have shirts that say broke city, overdrawn, strapped, say like broke with the heart as the O. Like they're really, really cute. They're really fun um, and they're cozy and they're all made in the US and they're really great. I love them, I'm really proud of them. 
and they've been doing really well. They're awesome. I Thank mean, you. I love what you have on today. Thanks. You're paired with like a skirt and the whole thing. Like, yeah. I love it. Yeah, you. I mean, that's the one thing too is knits. Knits now have taken on a whole, a whole new meaning in our wardrobe. Same as denim. You know, denim did whatever ten years ago. It's like you can wear them day or night. You can you can really be in control of how you look. So you know, I'd started designing the full Tuck and West collection, a full contemporary line, and I'm still a really small company and. I would never be able to do the kind of volume I would need to to bring that price down is basically what it was. And I wanted my customer to be able to afford my clothes. It's very simple. So what we decided to do was kind of create this Tuck and West approved, which is what's on the site right now. And I shop the market for new and vintage items that I think are sick, that I love, that I think you'll love, that I think everyone can afford, that has a place in their wardrobe. And new arrivals come, you know, two, three times a week. Everything's under 50 bucks. It's all on trend and affordable and great and handpicked by me and I shop them and style them and I was looking at the site today and it's just it literally is you can go from a party to work to Thanks. like running errands I literally there is something for everyone on your site oh thank you and I was talking to Orly about this earlier and it's cool that you know you are the face of Tuck and West <laughs> but for me and I think for a lot of girls it's really cool to see you wearing it because then it's like oh that's how you wear that piece. That's what, you know, it's right. just really, really cool. Thank you. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a little embarrassing. A little <laughs> bit. Um, before no. every shoot, I feel like I need a little liquid courage because I'm like, oh, this doesn't feel natural. Like, it feels so bizarre. For me, it's a little, it's odd, but the response has been so great. And what the one thing I've heard people say that I'm really, really thrilled is they're like, I feel like I trust it because you're wearing it. Like, it's exactly. like, you're not, you won't wear something that you don't like. So. Which is true. There are times when we all go. We'll get something. We'll buy it, and we'll try to put it together. It doesn't work. And we're like, we can't put this on the site. Like, yeah, it's right. not working. It's not. I would never wear this. I would never buy this. Like, and we we don't put it on the site because it's yeah. not. If it's not something that I love, that I have to wear. I always feel like for me, the te the test is, and I feel like this is a really good test for girls, is. Like, do you want to come up with an excuse to go out tonight just so you can wear that? Yeah. Like, do I just want to make all my friends meet me just so I can wear the one thing I want to wear? Like, I'm going to create a whole night based around the fact that I want to wear this outfit. And, like, that's kind of the way that I look at each piece that I buy. When it's do great. you think Tuck and West, the collection, will drop? I'm hoping within a year's time. When that first line comes out, I really want it to be a wow. I really want us to be yeah. in a position to be successful with it and so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until that's really the time but my goal would be a year. Oh we're I mean I have like so, so many ideas in my brain it kills me. Like I feel like my brain explodes and not being able to get them out is Yeah. I'm like mm. needed. Yeah exactly. Well we're so excited for the line. Thank you. And you guys make sure you go check out Tuck and West. You're gonna see all of Orly's lovely collection and we'll see you next time on Clever Style. Thank Bye you. guys.